I want to have a conversation with Casey that I don't think we've had before. Casey from Brick by Brick Wealth is doing amazing things in her business, helping students across the country. But Casey, I want to talk about Burr. Buy, repair, rent, refi, repeat. I want to talk about it generically first as a strategy and then talk about it today. What do you think, Casey? What do you think about Burr just as a model, as a framework, as a strategy? How, what do you think of it? Overall, the idea behind Burr is amazing. You know, it is. I mean, wow, you can reuse your, sound, your same down payment over and over again. You can create equity so you can keep scaling. I think in a nutshell, the, the idea behind Burr is great. My big problem was that it needs specific circumstances to work really well. And I don't really think it's for new investors or people that don't have a lot of money. So, um, and I know that's what most people want to do. They don't have a lot of money and they're new and they think Burr is for them because they heard it on bigger pockets. It is mm -hmm. great, but there's a lot, there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to Burr. And to get it right, to get that perfect Burr or near perfect, you really have to do things pretty well. Yeah, I think there's a lot of externalities that if you're not watching and well-versed in, you could get got and lose money. And if you happen to be borrowing family money or friends money for the initial purchase and you can't get out, that can lead to some very painful discussions. So generally speaking, I think Burr is an amazing strategy. I have done Burr at once, you know, one flavor or another since 2010. I was writing about it on Bigger Pockets in 2008 or nine. You can go back and probably find those. I'm sure they're still there. But in reality, it's funny. It, Burr is the only topic that in my second book was mentioned twice. I had two chapters in my book, 15 Conversations with Real Estate Millionaires, because I just thought it warranted that. One is a story of a couple who did it right and invested time and did one or two a year. And then the next, next one is admitting that Burr is an advanced strategy. It is sold. Everything in real, real estate's hard. It's hard. Lots of moving parts. Burr is sold to people as a way to get no money down deals. And it's certainly possible. In some markets at some times, it's even probable. But today, with rising rates, a changing lending environment, a seasoning period that's gone from six to 12 months, it's really, really hard. And if you're coming into this borrowing money from friends and family or hard money at 12 or 13%, your care, it's just, it's this market's not the time, in my opinion. Burr is possible. It's just not easy today, is what I'm thinking. I agree. I'm I'm concerned about Burr. I have a lot of students that really want to do it. And I'm very quick to say, let me tell you the risks. So as long as you understand the risks and maybe you've got some extra money to cover or can hold it or whatever, but otherwise this really isn't for new people with no money. There's the market is uncertain. You know, the lenders, lender changes are happening left and right. Amen. Um, the loan to values are lowering. And interest rates are going up. They're going to go down. Now they're going to go up. I mean, who really knows what is going to happen with um, housing prices? I mean, there's just so much, so much uncertainty. I feel like all the, the gurus online who made it big, you know, last year, during COVID years, like they could just like fart and things would happen for them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but it's like, you know, things were in their advantage. They could, you know, underestimate um, rehab costs and just wait another month and have it be fine. You know, rents were rising. Like I had rents rise $300 in my B market. So oops, you know, for them, oops, but it was a yay. So those people that are still doing Burr, I bet it's different for them now. They, ha they have to know what they're doing. Today, we have lenders that, I mean, I just spoke to a student this morning. He was wanting to do Burr. The loan to value on that would be, or the cash rate finance would be 65%. So she'd have to keep a considerable amount of money in the deal for her cash out refinance. What if she was anticipating it being a 20, you know, doing it, at, ended up doing cash out at an 80 20 loan? And now she has to keep a 30 or 35%. What if she doesn't have that much? What if she was borrowing that at a 10 to 13% interest rate from a hard money lender? How is she going to pay that back? You know, it's just, it's very scary. And personally, I don't really know what's going to happen. Nobody really does. 
And if you can't afford to hold that property, if you can't, my opinion is if you cannot buy the property all cash and pay for all your repairs, right? On your own, maybe you should not do Burr right now. You know, maybe yeah. you should wait. Otherwise you're taking a huge risk, which is fine. Risk, right? No risk, no reward. But just be careful with other people's money. If there's a backup strategy or someone else you can borrow, or maybe talk to your lender, if it's a private money lender and say, hey, just in case it doesn't work out, Am I able to borrow the money for another year? You know, can I give mm -hmm. you, you know, interest and make a hold it if I can't cash out, refi and make money right now? Because you might not be able to, if it takes six months, four to six to rehab the property, who knows where we're going to be at? You might not get the ARV you thought. We might be at a 14% interest rate. I'm not saying we will, but who knows? My parents bought their house in the 90s on a VA loan and their rate was full to 14%. Who's to say it won't happen again? Yeah. You know, we just got to be very careful. There's so many things right now in the lending market that you brought up that I just want to hit again that really show the risk of Burr, right? Burr is a great strategy, but the payoff is at the end. It's after four, six, eight months of work. And over six to eight month period, all kinds of things could change. One thing that's changed is a seasoning period. FHA now used to be at six months. Now it's 12. Well, what does that mean, Michael? Well, that means six more months of interest payments, right? That's carrying costs said a different way. Um, loan to value. If you're running your burrs at, with an expected 75% LTV and you get shocked that they're only due 65, where's that other 10% come from, right? Does what And then, oh, by the way, if you can't pay off the seller, the whole deal blows up because you can't get a second because the first won't like that. Then interest rates. Did you know that a purchase money loan is lower than a refi loan? Most people don't know that. No, it's just, it's just, it's not the time. And it's certainly not the time for a rookie brand new investor who has the added risk of contractors ripping them off of underestimating repairs of holding periods of all these other things. I, again, want to say that I think Burr as a structure is amazing. I have recycled the same 100 grand multiple times back in 2010 to 12. But it's not the time today. It's certainly not the time to start there, in my opinion. Yeah. I agree. It's very risky for new investors. I know they see, you know, they see dollar signs. They see all these promises online from all these internet gurus who preach Get rich with your same 30,000 over and over again. There is so much risk that comes with that. You just have to know what lies ahead and be willing to accept the risk if it doesn't work out. Or maybe just wait, you know, maybe yeah. just buy a regular property right now and then do burn next time. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I, again, if somebody has done it, I kind of feel like I'm talking on both sides of my mouth because I know it works. I would do it again if I saw the right deal. It's just, I have all the extra bases covered. If I can't get out, I, you know, I'm not going to, it's not going to end. Uh, so Casey, uh, where can people follow you? You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, kind of TikTok too, all the places, <laughs> Brick by Brick Wealth. And I got a lot on my website too, if you want to check that out as well. There you go. Thank you so much.